always wanted to have a living doll, like a Barbie. That's why when I was six years old, I would pray every single day for his sister. Because I just wanted a living doll. Ate! <gasps> Our next girl, Mallory, is 12 years old from Coquitlam, and she'll be doing a tap routine for us. process of my sister going to pageant which is really ironically random because it's a busy time in my life it's been an honor of being a big sister my sister is one of the greatest people i know she sticks to her morals she um, stays uncompromised most of the time i just hear from moral support giving her tips of walking posing and the question and answer and we've just had a lot of fun with that maybe in the future we can show you how embarrassing our practice was as a human being and i'm not even ashamed saying that i really like attention and the thing that I've been struggling is that I'm supposed to give my sister attention everyone's attention to my sister okay God I don't know how to handle it but God is just saying okay stop you're secure in me and when your sister shines you shine too because without you probably won't be as confident she needs you the more she shines the more your family shines but also you are increasing as well because you are giving glory to me basically the glory of God is never about competition it's never like that it's about encouraging one another their success is your success the more you succeed as children of God, the more you bring glory to your king. And we're all in the same race, guys. All in different journeys, but in the same race. And that is to increase the kingdom of God. It's going to be such a great day. I'm going to just vlog the whole day as she wins and sway this thing. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Let's go dress you up. Let's go. It's basically how We got Mira in the house. Oh yeah, I was telling Mallory earlier. I said that, right? Mallory, I did I'm sorry, I don't remember. Oh, how blessed she is to have friends like you. Oh, you did? Yeah, there you go. You, you bought a ticket, you're supporting her. <laughs> this pageant thing. Oh my gosh, like, oh. you gotta have more friends like these. <laughs> Dwayne, it's Mallory. Today is the day of my pageant. I was just wondering if you could please pray for me as I'm doing it today. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you. Do you want to do some talking? Because I'm talking a lot here. 
So there's like this whole concept about like in the beauty pageant, everyone wants to win, everyone wants to have the title, the crown, being this, this so and so, the position of being that. But what we were actually taught in the workshop, which I thought was great, it's not a competition against people, it's not even about winning. They ask me why you're here and talked about like I came to Junior Miss to come out of my comfort zone, have a lot of fun, which I did have. I was able to meet new people and I thought it would be a great way to build my self-confidence. And the fact that it's not about winning or losing, it's not about competition, I think that's even better. It shows girls that it's not about who's prettier or who's more outgoing or more of this and that, but it shows more of character and that anyone can win, anyone could do it. Even a lot of the directors who were former, former winners of the pageant talked about how they never thought they would ever win when they did it just goes to show that anyone can win i had no sleep for like straight three days me and family feels like we're the one who's running because we're always so like nervous and tired and like oh my god it's like our baby and we're calm Woo! we're gonna have some mcdonald's as we wait for the pageant to start later hi atikea what are you doing? Atikea, let's see your OOTD. Things is great. I love shopping in that country. Are you ready for it for Mallory? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Woo! let me walk. Let me walk. Okay, okay. Yeah, Hello, I'm Mallory. I'm from Coquitlam. Okay, let's go. Line up. Get our tickets. Let's go. Okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> Mira? Yes. I like men in suits. <laughs> and, uh, Good to know. Good to know. We just know that God is with us and whenever she feels down we go in the mirror and we literally how frustrating it is We just scream in the mirror God is victory! And we're like yeah, I believe in you We just worship, remember the other day we worship yeah. And we had just so much breakthrough I see Shalom Hello ladies and gentlemen, we could not find our way through the curtain <laughs> Yes, earthly titles are so important, but we must never forget that in whatever position you are, you are the child of God, and that is the highest title you would ever hold because it's your heavenly title. And as Mallory go there, she's reigning as the daughter of God. She's Mallory, and she doesn't have to be Miss anything. She is Miss <laughs> Miss Daughter of God, Miss <laughs> Miss Daughter, daughter of Zion. Zion, and that's the most beautiful about it. Trust me, you're going there with the light of God and His favor. I'm not saying that it's not important. It's an advantage to have such a platform like that to be able to use that platform, and it's such a powerful way to empower others and just let God just invade in these areas. Bring hope and light to people and encourage many kids that are her age. That's my sister! That's my sister! I am Mallory Joy and I am the Woo! Miss Team Canada. I couldn't help it. They're just so genuine. I'm the founder of Van City Business Babes, which is a Network an organization for women who have their own businesses. They have a heart for empowering people even younger than them. So they already have that in their minds. And so I think going forward, these women are going to do incredible things. This is the first year of this category. Can we just get an extra round of applause for all of you? We are about to crown the first ever BC Junior Miss, and she came from the uh, 
other side of the Fraser, Mallory from Coquitlam. <laughs> Yeah, I was very thankful that my daughter won, Mallory, you know, I can you know, believe because uh, there are lots of contestants from all over BC. Four days of competition, for interview, talent contest, workshop, everything. But at the end, Mallory is so blessed, you know, the Lord really blessed her that she was, she was the one, the first junior BC who has been crowned this evening. And I want to give back all the glory to God for blessing Mallory to be the first junior BC. So what did it feel when they like drop your crown in your head? Well, um, I already practiced it like a million times at home because they told us to. And I just bent down my knees so that they could put it. And then you hear Taylor's voice behind me. She's like, are you ready? You put the crown on you. And then she put the crown on me. I'm like, what's happening? People you want to thank. Oh, I want to thank Jesus. Yeah. Support. Are you proud, Mira? Oh, thank you. Are you proud, Mira? I'm, I'm proud. I'm thankful for her too because she's <laughs> because I already knew that she was gonna win in my heart. Once the guy said the line, I already knew she's gonna win. I'm proud. And always there for me. Oh, look at them hugging. Hey, uh, <laughs> I want one too. Come here. Kaya, kaya. Keep forward with Chiquito Mori and para pwede kayo sabahin siya. Kaya, sa isang Pinoy, sa akin. Ayaw! 
Karen, they really look alike. You oh, I feel like I'm. I'm this girl. <laughs>